Welcome back to CAD CAM tutorial. Today we will see how to make needle roller bearing in SOLIDWORKS. You can see this bearing. This is needle rollers bearing. So I hope you like it. So let's see how to do in SOLIDWORKS. It is simple and easy. There is only three parts. So let's do it in SOLIDWORKS. Let's make the first part of needle roller bearing outer ring so let's start keep the dimension inches we will prefer front plane A sketch select center line and draw vertical and horizontal center lines okay select line and draw here a geometry exit now here we will make some relation select these two lines make relation parallel or oh sorry not parallel clear collinear and equal now let's define keep the length 1 inch 0.35 inch 0.1 inch and this distance must be 0.1 inch ok and select the outer distance from origin point 2.5 mm ok now see here you can find here fully defined so just go to features tool and select revolve boss base and we will select the center line let's see here okay keep fillet select 3 mm and select outer edge oh sorry point 1 inch and outer edge both okay now see now let's define the raw material polished steel that's it now save this part desktop and create one new folder needle roller bearing now save this part number one outer ring let's do it the next part let's make the next part inner ring keep our dimension in inches select front plane a sketch select center line and draw a vertical and horizontal center line that's it choose a line and start here here select center line and connect this center line ok now we will make some relation select these two lines and make relation parallel ok select these two lines make relation collinear okay and select these two points horizontal same reverse that's enough select these two lines equal ok 
okay now let's start to define the dimension first select this outer distance from this line Two point three five inch. The overall length point four inch. Okay. Uh, let's define this point fourteen inch. And define this length. Zero point zero six inch. Now it's point two inch. Okay, drag this inside. Okay, it looks like that. Now define the gap between these two. 0.1 inch okay let's define this height 0.12 inch okay now select this all lines mirror select this center line okay now select this bottom line and this center line and make relation collinear okay now you can see here the geometry is fully defined we forget to add some corner radius Zero point zero two inch. Okay. Now select revolve boss base, and select this center vertical center line as a axis line one. Okay. Now see the body is created. Select top plane sketch normal. Select center line first. Draw a center line. draw one more lines here let's put a center point to this both the lines select this line and this center point go inside again choose this line and center point select mid reverse go inside okay now first define let's define this outer distance 2.36 inch and the gap between these two Point two three inch, and now let's define the length. Point three one inch, and this one zero point two eight one one zero one seven zero inch. Okay, select a line, connect this end. And the same here, this end. Exit. Choose center line. Draw a line up to from here to here. Exit. Choose circle and find out here midpoint. First, uh, we need to define a midpoint.
और सेलेक्ट दिस लाइन एंड डिलीट नाउ चूज सर्कल ड्रॉ ए लाइन इन मिड पॉइंट एंड कीप द डायमीटर पॉइंट वन इंच ओके Now we will make one relation. Select this point and origin point, horizontal. Now this is our dimension. Now we want to cut. We want to make a cut inside this inner bearing. So select extruded cut. First select this reverse direction and keep height. we will prefer up to surface select this surface but we want to keep some offset 0.12 see 0.12 inch okay see here we created this cutouts now we want to make it circular number of patterns so drop down this option hide and show item select here temporary axis now this is the our temporary axis select this temporary axis and choose here circular pattern select here extruded cut keep 36 numbers equal spacing 360 degree okay now drop down this menu and hide temporary axis see now this is the inner ring select satin finish stainless steel or let's make it polished steel now save this as a part number 2 inner ring now let's the last part needle roller make the dimension inches choose top plane and draw here two circles keep the outer diameter point 3 inch and keep the distance between these two circles 0.1 inch okay now let's extrude it and keep the length 0.55 inch okay select fillet select this top face and bottom face 0.01 inch okay we will assign the color yellow to whole body or go to appearance paint metallic gold or little we will change little yellowish okay now see now save this part number 3 needle roller now let's start the assembly of needle roller bearing now here let's start the assembly of needle roller bearing select new assembly browse select all select first outer ring then all part open we will prefer dimension in inches choose mat select this outer faces 
make cocentric relation select this bottom face and the bottom of inner ring let's see it's fixed here okay it's rotating inside now bring your bearing in here and connect with anyone select this face and this face cocentric relation okay select this bottom face and this face coincident yes okay now you can see it here it's rotating inside the one roller bearing is already fixed select here open temp temporary axis you want to make number of patterns for a roller so select here circular pattern select the roller and select this center line as a axis and we want 36 number of bearings see here select okay just temporary of the temporary axis now see this is the our bearing now just rotate now first save this part assembly now select this component change transparency now you can see it here select float this part also now all the parts floating let's make this outer ring fix see so this is the simple tutorial of ball bearing i hope you like it please subscribe our channel for more video and more projects in solid works and don't forget to share and like our video thanks for watching